been meaning to do this video on this 2001 Trek Marlin 5. Had to do a quick voiceover because it was windy. Um, so this one is a small and it comes in a 27.5 on the bigger sizes, small on the medium, medium, large, large and extra large. And that's Vegas in the background. It's a uh, 29er. So they come stock with these uh, XR2's comps. And also this lower end, lower end Shimano attorney. Um, I think there's another level that's a little lower. So this is a great entry level bike. Um, it's a it's three uh, chain rings in the front, and then it does have hydraulic brakes. Uh, I've never heard of this brand either. Um, I rode it a little bit. I'm a little on the heavy side, and uh, it's slowed down okay. Not not like the XTRs. Um, then you have these Suntour uh, forks here. Eh, really not, maybe maximum going off the curb. It's the best you're going to get. And there's those uh, XR2 comps. They're not tubeless ready. Only the, the XR uh, team issues are the are tubeless ready. It still has reflectors, a dork dish. And it's, um, it's actually my wife's bike and she rarely rides it. But I figured I'd do a quick video on it. I've been trying to do it for a while. Um, just never really had time. Those those XR2 comps. I actually don't know what size they came in. Um, with the width. I think they were what, 2.4s? Maybe. Yeah, I think the 2.4s. I'll have to take a look and see what size they came in. Overall, it is a fantastic beginner bike. You know, you're not going to be sending it at Red Bull Rampage, but overall, it's a great beginner bike. Here we are. The most dirt you could probably do is maybe a little bit of gravel, maybe entry-level single track. But the new 2022s run around $719 US. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this.